everyone. It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another video. Well, this week I am participating in October Opal's Birthday Week Spirit Week 2023. <laughs> and um, you can see the hashtag below in the title, okay? And so that's the hashtag you can search for if you want to see who else is participating in this Spirit Week. Uh, their, their videos should come up. But the main three of three hosts, I guess you'd say, of this Spirit Week is, of course, Shannon of the Spoonie Stitcher and Ashley of Gwen Crochet. I think I said it right. No, Gwen Spired Crochet and and also Teresa of Critters Crochet. I hope I said that right, but I'll link those three channels, their channels, down below in the description box so you can check out their videos, okay? So they are the main hosting hostesses. <laughs> they are the ones that designed or picked out what theme for each day uh, for this week, um, of this spirit week. <laughs> okay, so it started on Sunday. Sunday was uh, Snuggly Sunday. Yeah, and I did participate that participate that day, and so um, I made a uh, this beautiful scarf right here, still sitting here, <laughs> and so that was my snuggly Sunday. Yesterday was Musical Monday, and you're supposed to make a pro uh, some thing that represents a favorite musical and I didn't I did not participate yesterday so but I am back here today for Tuesday's video and Tuesday's theme is Tea Party Tuesday <laughs> and so um Shannon I believe is well I, I don't know I'm, I was going to say who picked which theme but I, I'm not sure so let's not go there <laughs> okay so uh Tea Party Tuesday is Alice in Wonderland themed and so of course I had to participate in that because Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite Disney movies and so um I had to. <laughs> and if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm working on a big Alice in Wonderland diamond painting picture. If you want to see the progress on that, make sure that you follow along my with my regular videos. Uh, on Thursdays, I show that. But anyway, um, this challenge or this Spirit Week is to create things fiber fiber related of some some way or other. And so that disqualifies my diamond painting for. Uh, to be included with this, which is fine. So, um, so crochet related, my Alice in Wonderland item that I decided to make is I decided to add another character to my Alice in Wonderland set. Okay. So these are tutorials that I have followed from the little crochet farm and I will link, um, well, I'll link her channel down below or I'll link the, the yeah, I'll link the video that's specific to the character that I made for the new character that I made for this, um, for today's <laughs> video. But if you look at her channel, make sure you look at all her projects because she has lots of tutorials, very cute characters. She's got several Alice in Wonderland characters. She has other, uh, and they're all wonderful free tutorials, and she goes with you step by step on how to make these little amigurumis. There's all kinds of, you know, there's Christmas related ones. I, I believe there's more I guess there's more Disney character ones. I haven't looked through all of her videos in a while. Um but I know she's got some great characters. And so specifically the ones I've been looking at is the Alice in Wonderland characters. Okay, so um, if you have been with me for a while, then you have seen these these first ones I'm going to show you. You've seen these before. So the first one of the Alice in Wonderland set that I made, well, I don't even know. I think the first one, <laughs> I think the first one was this card person. <laughs> and so here is the... Um, the card character that I made, an ace of hearts, okay, following Little Crochet Long's tutorial. No, Little Crochet Farms tutorial. <laughs> and so there you go. Okay, using DK weight yarn. Okay, so then after I made that one, I had to make this one, and it is the white rabbit. And in fact, this is the my favorite of all the ones that I've made so far. This one I think turned out the cutest. And yeah, I like this one the best. So here it is the white rabbit. Oh, didn't he turn out so cute? And he even has his little pocket watch. Yeah. 
<laughs> I really think he turned out really cute. Okay, so there is my little white rabbit. And then, of course, I had to make Alice. And so here is my Alice right here. <laughs> so there's Alice. She has lots of curly blonde hair, lots of waves. She has a little black headband, okay? And no, she does not have a mouth. I think I, when I had showed this originally, when I made her, somebody asked me, well, where's her mouth? Well, she didn't have a mouth because there was no mouth in the pattern, but I may go back. I need to go back and give her a little smile or something. Um, I just have forgotten to do that. But anyway, there is my Alice. Okay. So that those three characters I've showed you before. So my newest addition to my Alice in Wonderland characters is the Cheshire Cat. And if you watched... Um, if you watch Shannon's video this morning for Tea Party Tuesday, she made a Cheshire cat as well. In fact, I think, yeah, she made two versions. Really cute. I love the way hers turned out. But here is mine. Okay, so here is mine. <laughs> his mouth is kind of creepy. I will admit, I'm not that happy about his mouth. I think I gave him too many teeth when I stitched those black lines on there for his teeth. I love the way he turned out besides that. Now, in her pattern, here's a question. Okay, so in her the tutorial, um, Little Crochet Farm used two shades of pink, a dark pink and a light pink for the colors of the Cheshire Cat. But I looked up images. Now, my favorite is the Disney version of Alice in Wonderland. And so all of these characters, the color, the colors that I picked out and, and things, if they if they were different than the way Little Crochet Farm did hers as far as the colors, it's because I wanted mine to resemble closest to the, the Alice in Wonderland version. And so when I looked up images of the Cheshire Cat, to me, he is purple and pink, not dark pink and light pink. Well, it depends. It, I have seen some images where it does look like it's different shades of pink or maybe one of the other Alice in Wonderland versions that, that Little Crochet Farm used for her to, you know, to be inspired by her tutorials or vice versa. <laughs> um, maybe they're different. Maybe the Cheshire Cat is different in some of the other Alice in Wonderland versions, possibly. I don't know. But the images that I saw for the Disney versions, I thought it looked like purple and pink. So that's what I decided to use. His teeth, look at that. He's kind of funky. <laughs> but anyway, um, I do know that Shannon of the Spoonie Stitcher, she made a felt mouth. I should have done that, I guess, but I didn't. Anyway, that's my Cheshire Cat. So that is my collection of my Alice in Wonderland characters so far. Now, she does have, <laughs> there, oh, there you go. I hope you can see that. <laughs> she does have, um, the Queen of Hearts, and I've always wanted to make that one. I haven't made her yet, but I might. I, I, I might go ahead and make her. Well, I, no, I might. I will eventually probably make her. And then she has, of course, she has the Mad Hatter, but I haven't done that either. Now, now that's then again, see, Little Crochet Farm, the Mad Hatter colors that she does for tu her tutorial looks like the Johnny Depp. Yeah, as far as the hair color of the Mad Hatter. And so the Johnny Depp version of Alice in Wonderland. And so I think if I do the Mad Hatter or when I do the Mad Hatter, I'm going to change the colors to make it look more like the Disney version, which I believe he has gray hair or white hair, not orange hair, like the one she did, which is the, the Johnny Depp version. Okay, so anyway, there is my Alice in Wonderland characters for Tea Party Tuesday. And I meant to make myself a cup of tea so then it, because, you know, Tea Party Tuesday, but actually I just finished drinking a cup of coffee. So I didn't feel like, I'm kind of full right now. I didn't feel like making a cup of tea. So, but I will go ahead and um, I need to take a picture because she, Shannon had said something about taking a picture of your, whatever you're making for the Alice in Wonderland theme to pose it with a teacup. And so, um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And then I will p put a picture in right here. So there is my Alice in Wonderland characters with a teacup. Yeah. <laughs> and so there you go. Uh, I think that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my 
uh, my take or my contribution for Tea Party Tuesday for this Spirit Week. I am enjoying making these videos. Thank you so much to Shannon who invited me to participate. And um, yeah, go ahead and look for that hashtag that is below in the description box. Well, no, it's in the title of my video. Hashtag October Opals BW Spirit Week 2023. And look for that hashtag and you should be able to find other videos of other people that are participating. I have seen a couple of other people participating in some of the days. So that's fun to uh, see everybody else's take on the themes for each day. Tomorrow's, oh, so tomorrow's theme is Whimsical Wednesday, and I believe it's supposed to be something to do with penguins, and I probably won't do anything for that. I haven't done anything. I haven't gotten anything ready for that, so uh, probably you will see me back again on, definitely on Thursday for Think Pink Thursday. I've got my project for that. I can't wait to show you. It turned out so cute, I think, <laughs> and so you will see me on Thursday for Think Pink Thursday. Thursday that theme and then on Friday is flat flashback Friday and I definitely have something to do for that video as well and then of course Thursday you will see my regular yarn joy podcast episode video and uh, you'll you'll see my Alice diamond painting then and some other things I've done so anyway I'm gonna go everybody have a wonderful tea party Tuesday and uh, make sure you check out everybody else's videos and I, that's it. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.